माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं इस वीडियो में इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन के वो सारे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर रहा हूँ जो इस साल आई आई टी में आए थे तो शुरू करते हैं कंडक्टिंग सर्कुलर लू मेड ऑफ ए थिन वायर हैज एरिया 3.5 पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन फॉर माइनस थ्री मीटर स्केयर एंड रेजिस्टेंस टेन ओम इट इज प्लेस पर पेंडिकुलर टू ए टाइम डिपेंडेंट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज गिवन टू यू द फील्ड इज यूनिफॉर्म इन स्पेस देन द नेट चार्ज फ्लोइंग थ्रू द लूप ड्यूरिंग टी इक्वल टू जीरो सेकेंड एंड टी इक्वल टू टेन मिली सेकेंड इज क्लोज टू लेट इज राइट डाउन द डाटा एरिया इज गिवन टू यू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टेन एस पा माइनस थ्री मीटर स्केयर आर इज इक्वल टू टेन ओ प्लेस्ड पर पेंडिकुलर टू दैट इज बी टी इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर टी साइन फिफ्टी फाइव टी द फील्ड इज यू हैव टू फाइंड द टोटल चार्ज बिटवीन टाइम इज जीरो सेकेंड टू टेन मिली सेकेंड दिस इज टाइम सो हेयर टू फाइंड चार्ज वी नो दैट डी क्यू इज इक्वल टू आई डी टी एंड वट इज आई आई इज इक्वल टू इंड्यूज डी एम एफ अपॉन आर डी टी वट इज इंड्यूज डी एम एफ जस्ट इग्नोरिंग नेगेटिव साइन दैट इज डी फाइव बाई डी टी डी टी इज कैंसल विद दिस That is d phi by r. Taking integral, that is q is equal to phi upon r. B a upon r. Point four. Sine. At time t equal to zero, this is zero. So understood. A b is b a is also zero. So we have to calculate at ten millisecond. Sine fifty pi. Into ten millisecond ten minus two. Area is three point five into ten to the power minus three upon r. R is ten ohm. That is point four. This is one. Fifty by hundred pi by two. That is one. Three point five. So, if we calculate this, this comes point one four milliampere. Whereas in the option it is given fourteen milliampere. So answer is. Uh, in the given option is wrong this is the right answer next question a power transmission line feeds input power at 2300 volt to a step down transformer with its uh, primary windings having 4000 turns the output power is delivered at 230 volt by the transformer if the current in the primary of the transformer is 5 ampere and uh, its efficiency is 90% the output current will be in this question vp is given as 2300 volt and np number of turns in the primary is given as 4000 and v second is given as 230 so there is a direct relationship between uh, voltage and number of turns so ns will be equal to 400 means ns uh, upon np is equal to 1 by 10 so here in case of current there is a inverse relationship as in voltage and number of turns direct relationship is and ip that is a inverse relationship that is equal to 10 so is is equal to ip is given as 5 ampere this is 10 and this efficiency is 90% so this becomes 45 ampere So, next question is a magnet of total magnetic moment at 10 to the power minus 2 eta m meter uh, ampere meter square is placed in a time varying magnetic field b i cos omega t where b equal to 1 tesla and omega is equal to 0.125 radian per second the work done for reversing the direction of the magnetic moment at t equal to 1 second is options are given actually this question is from magnetic field not from emi but it has been missed in uh, last uh, video so total magnetic moment is given that is m is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 eta ampere meter square and magnetic field is that is b i cos omega t where b equal to 1 tesla that means cos omega t Where omega is equal to point one two five and t is given equal to one second. 
here you have to find the work done in reversing the direction of uh, magnetic dipole suppose this is the magnetic field and here magnetic dipole is placed like this this is the stable condition and you have to reverse it like this you have to rotate it if this angle is zero you have to rotate through 180 degree if this is 180 degree that means you know you know that total work done in reversing this is equal to pe pe in case of electric field we take here this is mb rather 2 mb 2 mb in reversing that is 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 and what is b here cos omega t omega is 0 0.125 that is 125 by 100 that is 1000 125 by 1000 then 1 by 8 and t equal to 1 second so cos 1 by 8 is approximately if you look at the values 0 0.99 so approximately this is this is 2 into 1 that is 2.02 joule this is the right answer so c option is there Next question is a solid metal cube of edge length 2 cm is moving in a positive y direction at a constant speed of 6 meter per second. There is a uniform magnetic field of 0.1 tesla in the positive z direction. The potential difference between the two faces of the cube perpendicular to the x-axis. We can construct a cube like this. this is 2 centimeter let this is x axis this is y this is z axis in this y direction velocity is given as 6 meter per second let us consider magnetic field in the z direction z direction is it is given in the z direction that is 0 0.1 tesla and uh, you have to find you have to find this is 2 centimeter you have to find the potential difference between these two so this is quite simple iske perpendicular jo bhi arm hogi this is the perpendicular arm perpendicular to the z direction that means emf across these two ends will be e is equal to blv b is 0 0.1 tesla l is 2 centimeter and this is 6 6 to 12 1.2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 out of the options it can be taken as 0.12 so A option is there question number 5th self induced EMF of a car is 25 volt when the current in it is changed at uniform rate from 10 ampere to 25 ampere in one second change in energy of the inductance aapko de rakha hai E de rakha hai aapko 25 volt and I1 is 10 ampere I2 is uh, 25 ampere and time is 1 second change in the energy of the inductor that is uh, delta E is equal to half L I F square minus I I square you have to find L from here these two data this data you can find L because L is equal to E upon di by dt and this is 25 by 15 that is 5 by 3 so delta E is equal to half into 5 by 3 into 625 minus 100 525 and this can be cancelled here 3 175 and this is 875 divided by 2 437.5 437.5 should so this option is B next question is there are two long coaxial solenoid of same length L the inner and outer coils have radii R1 and R2 the number of turns per length N1 and N2 respectively the ratio of mutual inductance to the self inductance of the inner coil is what is given here here this is given like this
there is a coil and the inner coil is like this this is R1 and the smaller one is radius is R2 number of turns in the primary or uh, in the outer coil is N1 and in the inner one is N2 and here the length is taken as L the inner is uh, R1 this is inner is R1 outer is R2 and here uh, inner is uh, this is inner one inner is N1 this is uh, outer one mutual inductance can be find out mu1 mu0 n1 n2 we have to take here the length of the total that is uh, l and one thing more the area of the inner coil area of the inner coil that is pi r1 square because inner has radius r1 this is radius this is not uh, diameter this is radius and uh, inductance self inductance of this is equal to mu naught n1 square l and pi r1 square so m upon l becomes equal to so if we take here n1 all are cancelled only except n2 by n1 so answer is t next question is in the circuit shown at time t equal to 0, the switch S1 is closed and switch S2 is kept open. At some later time, this uh, later time, uh, the opposite switches are closed and opened. So, what will be the behavior of the current I as a function of time? The circuit is like this. This is resistance. This is inductance. Um, this key is given here. that, And here, this is... Let us draw the graph. First, uh, this is uh, made on. This is made on. That means the current flowing through the circuit will be opposed by this inductance. This inductance will not let the, grow, uh, let the current grow to maximum at once. It will object the current flow. That means if maximum current is uh, here, that means uh, this is opposed by the inductance and it will not go straight but it is like this and when this is made off and this is made on now the battery is out of the circuit and this current will start decaying if this current starts decaying again the function of inductance is to stop the decaying of current that means it will not let the current get a minimum at once get minimum at once or state no it will oppose the oppose the decay of current that means it will not let the current zero at once but it will go like this so hey out of the given option b is the correct option next question a copper wire is wound on a wooden frame whose shape is that of an equilateral triangle if the linear dimension of each side of the frame is increased by a factor of three Keeping the number of turns of the coil per unit length of the frame same, then the self-inductance of the coil. You have to find the self-inductance of the coil, but coil is in the shape like this. Coil is in the shape like this. We have already done L is equal to mu naught N square L into A. What is A here? A is the area of this coil. L, L is the total length of the coil. N number of turns per length. N remains the same as given in the question. N remains the same. Linear dimension of this is increased. That means L is made 3L. Area is uh, same. So L dash equal to only this factor is increased that means 3L. This is increased by a factor of 3 that means C option. Next question. 
द रीजन बिटवीन वाई इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इक्वल टू डी कंटेन्स ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी इक्वल टू बी जेड ए पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम एंड चार्ज के ऊपर एंटर्स द रीजन विद ए वेलोसिटी ऑफ वी इक्वल टू वी आई इफ डी इज इक्वल टू एम वी अपॉन टू के ऊपर बी द एक्सेलेशन ऑफ चार्ज पार्टिकल एट द पॉइंट ऑफ इट्स एमर्जेंस एट द अदर साइड इज इन केस ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस इज गिवन लाइक दिस this is x this is a y this is z here magnetic field is there and since the magnetic field is in the direction z so i will be showing this with the help of some dots because it is coming out and this is d here this is zero and d is given to you equal to mv upon Two K B and uh, charge Q is going through this with velocity with velocity V with the velocity V I get it. That means the direction of x axis. So here, what can we do according to Fleming left hand rule? It will obey the path like this. It will obey circular path like this. In case of uh, magnetic field, the acceleration of the particle will be only centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration that means we must be knowing the center, center of circular path, and radius of circular path. radius of circular path is because here uh, we have got every um, parameter that is uh, charge is q magnetic field is b velocity is v so we can say that mv square by r is equal to q v b so r equal to mv upon q b this is uh, equal to d so this will be mv by q b is 2d r is equal to 2d if d distance is there that means center of the circular path is here this is 2d so we have to find this this acceleration this acceleration has two components one in this direction and one in this direction if this is d and this is 2d radius that means this angle is you can say 30 degree and this acceleration is here so a cos theta minus i carry it. that means acceleration equal to a cos 30 i carry it minus and y component is also downward a sin 30 j carry it. what is a here acceleration you can say v square by r This acceleration is there. V square by R is equal to Q V B by M. Q V B upon M with the negative sign there. Cos thirty root three by two. I carry it plus because minus taken outside and one by two J carry it. Again, no option is there with both negative signs, so answer is wrong. This is the right. In the figure shown, a circuit contains two identical resistors with resistance R equal to 5 ohm and inductance with L equal to 2 mini Henry. An ideal battery of 15 volt is connected in circuit. What will be the current through the battery long after the switch is closed? Here the battery is given. Here this is key. Here the battery is given, and here one inductance is placed here, and this resistance is there. and here this uh, resistance is there these are 5 ohm 5 ohm this is at inductance 2 milli henry and this is 15 volt when the switch is closed after long time this inductance this must be kept in mind this inductance resist the current flowing through the battery only at the switching on at the time of switching or not switching off otherwise it does not do anything it does not oppose the current so after long time this will be inactive 5 and 5 in parallel 
these are in parallel that means uh, equivalent resistance will be equal to 5 by 2 ohm and current through the screw through the battery will be equal to V upon R 15 into 2 upon 5 that is 6 ampere next question in the above circuit circuit C equal to root 3 by 2 microfarad R2 they rakha hai phir L they rakha hai R1 they rakha hai voltage they rakhi hai aapko phase difference batana hai do currents ke beech mein se like this so here circuit is given like this that uh, this is there this is 20 ohm this is root 3 by 2 microfarad here inductance is given resistance is given resistance is given uh, inductance is given at root 3 by 10 henry and this is 10 ohm uh, here uh, voltage is given inductance AC is shown like this that is 200 root 2 sine 100 T 100 that means this is omega we will need omega in calculating this I1 and I2 they let this is I1 this is I2 let us find the direction of I1 first in case of I1 direction what we will be doing this is inductance so if this is E this is I in case of inductance and uh, we can say that this is R, this is omega L, this is phi 1. So tangent phi 1 can be calculated like this called omega L by R. Omega is 100, L is root 3 by 10 upon 10 and this is root 3. So this is, uh, that implies phi 1 equal to 60 degree. In second case, in case of this capacitance, circuit will be like this. Phase diagram will be like this. This is uh, uh, XL that is 1 by omega C. This is R. This is phi 2. So tangent phi 2 can be taken as equal to 1 by omega C R. 1 by omega C R that is 100 into root 3 into 10 is power minus 6 into R is 20. Root 3 by 2 is there. So this will be 10 to the power 3 over jayega because 0, 0, 0 cut gaya 10 to the power 3 by 2 or 3. So it has no sense ya, ya to aap infinity le, otherwise it does not make any sense. So uh, there must be some mistake, this must be taken as minus 3. If minus 3 is there, this, there will be no, that is 1 by root 3 and phi 2 is equal to 33. So right answer should be equal to 60 plus 30, that is... Uh, 90 degree. So, no choice is there. Next question is A 10 meter long horizontal wire extends from northeast to southeast. It is falling with a speed of 5 meter per second at right angle to the horizontal component of the earth's magnetic field of 0.3 into 10 to the power minus 4 Weber per meter square. The value of induced EMF in the wire. Then, this question is given like this. This is east, west, north, south, northeast is this, that means 45 degree. The wire is extended like this. This is of length 10 meter. And uh, horizontal uh, magnetic field, horizontal, magne horizontal component of earth magnetic field is uh, this, that is uh, 0.3 into 10 raised to power minus 4 that is B H is equal to 0.3 into 10 is power minus 4 and velocity with, it is with which it is coming down that is 5 meter per second so this is uh, uh, the effective length of this is this angle is 45 degree effective length is this perpendicular to magnetic field that is this so uh, E is equal to B L V B is uh, 0.3 into 10 to the power minus 4. L is 10 uh, by root 2. That is 0 0.70. 7 or 0.7 into 5. So this comes uh, 7, 5, 35. That is, this is uh, 1 point, uh, uh, 0 0.05 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is approximately uh, out of the given option. Many fold. So, this is all about uh, the questions from EMI. In case any question is missed from the 
from this chapter that will be taken later on okay thanks a lot